This is the historic Bradley House, what we call it. It's actually the William L. Bradley House here in Dubuque, Iowa on Locust Street. This house was built in 1872 by William L. Bradley. He was the father of five kids and he was in real estate development and a um, banker finance banker person. finance so he owns a lot of property here in town he's a very humble uh, philanthropist so this property is a little bit more humble in its approach to its design and one of the things that drew us to purchase this house was that it's, it was historic had enough detail but was not kind of overwhelming with woodworking and a lot of extra details that would consume time for the renovation. It's an Italianate mostly on the inside with uh, some Victorian and Gothic revival on the outside. For some reason we decided to take a look at it and walk through and saw a lot of the potential uh, mm -hmm. that could be here. The curved stairway and then the curved hallway that followed, I just couldn't get that out of my head. I was like, we have to have the house with the curved hallway. Uh, through the renovation process, we have kept all the main living space on the first floor um, and renovated a, a nice large kitchen within that. And then the second and third floor now consist of uh, five bedrooms, uh, three and a half baths, and then we've created some media rooms, some art rooms, and some other studio spaces. We let the old and historic be historic um, and kind of that kind of more modern and contemporary look, you know, we allowed new to be new and kind of carry that through the design um, of the parts that we renovated and touched. Had a lot of fun in our master bathroom, um, creating some defined, you know, wet room space and then other uh, kind of where the vanities go. Um, the other full bath had an opportunity to kind of create a walkthrough shower in an old closet space. Reuse um, some historic fixtures that were here. There's some tubs, clawfoot tubs, we were able to restore um, and repurpose a few of the sinks and hand washing areas. So one of the major challenges that we discovered uh, during the renovation, and it wasn't necessarily completely known when we purchased the house, uh, but there's a portion, kind of the rear back corner um, had settled about three inches from the rest of the house. So we had to make sure we stabilized that corner and that foundation, um, which took a few months of the initial schedule of the whole project. And, and took all of our starting budget. Right. <laughs> <too. And> so <laughs> It's all wood and it was just about all kind of rotting through. The roof needed to be replaced. A lot of the ornamental details were missing. We saw all of the details and we recreated a lot of the details that went back up there. When we moved in, the kitchen that was here, that was kind of built in the 40s, um, because we found some evidence in the wall, there's yeah. some newspapers, newspapers. <laughs> rolled up in the walls there, uh, but that was kind of built in the 40s, and it was just this very small nook. We, we turned that nook into a little kind of reading area nook uh, now, but we saw an opportunity to make the kitchen a large family kitchen. This is a large family home meant to really gather people. So we wanted to celebrate that and really give people an opportunity to gather in the kitchen space. There were a total of four fireplaces here. Um, we were able to keep three of them and restore them. All of the windows were still the his original wood windows. Uh, so we went through the effort of restoring mm -hmm. those and then putting new storm windows on them. Yeah, so I think we got kind of over those barriers and we were able to really restore this home.